Hi everybody, I'm Chiara and in this video I'm going to take you through the features of the configuration page. The configuration page lets us set all the working parameters of Inkset sensors, such as the field of view, the number of detection fields and the safety working mode. But let's take a closer look at the page itself. In the configuration page, we find a whiteboard useful to represent the current configuration of the sensors. We can add more sensors to our installation by clicking here. Remember, the whiteboard can be resized at your convenience. Clicking on the chain symbol will determine whether the exped ratio of the image will be kept or not. It is possible to import to the whiteboard an image representing the layout that can be appropriately scaled. Note that the layout we create in the whiteboard can be exported and used later. The graphical parameters allow us to represent the position of the sensors, as well as realize the way we monitor the hazardous area. Let's see how! By selecting each sensor, we can choose the spatial position and rotation around each of the three axes. As an alternative, we can use the mouse to move and rotate the sensor. By doing so, bear in mind that it's possible to operate only the rotation with respect to the y-axis, while a rotation around the x and z axis is managed from the menu under the whiteboard, as mentioned before. For each sensor, we can modify all the operating parameters shown in the menu on the right-hand side of the screen. There are several detection fields that can be configured individually. For example, the Smart Sensor 200 series has up to four detection fields. For each of them, there are three safety working modes that we can choose from. Always on access detection, always on restart prevention or both options. We can also choose the detection distance and the angular coverage of the field of view. And we can enable the static object detection option and the restart timeout. Remember that for the Smart Sensor 200 series, the restart prevention function is deemed safe only with timeouts of 4 seconds or longer. Please note that it's possible to create multiple configurations of the sensors and switch dynamically among them in a safe way via digital inputs or field bus. This drop down menu serves exactly this purpose. It allows us to add, duplicate and delete configurations. Once we finish making changes, click on Apply Changes in order to save them on a control unit and activate them. After this, a configuration report will be shown. The reports are documents that cannot be changed and can only be printed and signed by the Machinery Safety Manager. We can find these documents also in the Configuration Reports archive. A couple more details. If you want to remove a sensor from the configuration, we can click on the Delete Sensor button. Otherwise, if we need to identify the sensor to configure, we can click on the Identify by LED button. Subsequently, the LED of the corresponding sensor will start flashing for 5 seconds, allowing you to identify it. Alright, we had configured our first sensor! To find out more on how to proceed with the settings, watch the next video! Thanks for watching! See you soon!